our team is trying to understand the dynamic behavior of these structures. It's important to get a better understanding of how these structures behave and ultimately how they may behave during an extreme event, a tornado, an earthquake, or a man-made hazard due to a blast or collision. The ultimate goal is trying to make our buildings safer. Our research group is looking at the accuracy with which computer models predict the behavior of a large building structure when it's acted upon by extreme loads. And by doing that, we can kind of back into um, what we need to do to improve the tools that we use to predict the response of other buildings so that potential future events can be prevented. And if not prevented, then mitigated somewhat. For the blast sequence, we've acquired 32 sensors that will be installed. We also acquired six miles of cables to make sure we're able to wire in the sensors to the adjacent building. Actually, uh, when I first came here, I lived in this building for half a year. Yeah, I was a resident here. So when we're measuring frequency, we're actually measuring the ratio between mass and stiffness of our structure. In mass, that's the weight of our structure. Stiffness is its uh, resistance to movement. And that actually tells us the current state of the structure and its state of health. So both the LiDAR scanner, so that's light detection and ranging, and the unmanned aerial system, they're used to actually capture the surface geometry of the structure. And that's for both measurements of its current state as well as for quantifying defects. things up in a virtual sense to examine what will happen. We are interested in predicting how the thing falls. Does it fall the way we thought it would fall? Does it fall the way they thought it would fall? As this thing collapses, where are the loads going? And where are they going as the stuff that holds the building up, as the columns, as the floors, as the beams uh, come apart? So how those materials are responding to a, as severe an event as possible. My hope is that we can look at it in real time and be able to, in real time, this is my pipe dream, be able to have the model there predicting the behavior right next to a video that is showing the behavior. This research is critical to us at the university and at the college level because it enables us the ability to capture this one-of-a-kind data set. There's just a number of unique aspects to this study that will make it valuable to the research community at large. Research projects like this allow for uh, effective training of our graduate students and really the future workforce. Getting an understanding of what the anticipated response is and then being able to observe what happens in real time and then look after the fact to see, okay, how accurate were these virtual predictions of a real world occurrence is something that I think they will treasure uh, for the rest of their careers. This is definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. Mm -hmm.